Hey guys, welcome back to another All Things Nerd video. My name is Nathan, and today I'm gonna tell you top seven tips for how to counter an annoying opponent in League of Legends. Let's get right into it. Number seven, if you are behind, make sure you focus on farming and try to come back into the game by taking objectives and securing kills, right? A lot of times I notice in lower elo especially, they will focus on mainly, <laughs> You know, they will focus on mainly just themselves and they'll try to make these crazy plays where, you know, um, there's no need to really make them. And so that actually leads me into my next tip. Number six, if you have a lead, play defensively and avoid taking unnecessary risks, right? If you're way ahead of their enemy, and especially your opponent, especially in your own lane, focus on your lane, right? Get your tower and then go help other lanes. One of the biggest mistakes I've noticed, like in, like I'm saying in low elo, is they will get ahead in their lane, the jungler will get them ahead, they'll get ahead by solo kills or whatever. And then they will all of a sudden just stay in their lane all game. They won't go help their opponents, they won't go help other lanes, and that's a big mistake. So don't go do dumb stuff to get you behind. You're not faker. <laughs> Remember, you're not sitting here, you know, you're, you're not insect, you're not doing crazy Lisa and skills, right? Just be a normal player. Once you're ahead, take that advantage and use it to help other lanes. Number five, try to stay calm and don't let the opponent's behavior affect your own play. I notice a lot of times people get what's called tilted. Tilting is basically if, let's say you, you get into a game and your, your headspace is already really bad, right? Don't get into a game thinking that you're going to do really bad this game too, right? You need to leave the past in the past. Don't focus on other people. Mute mute, mute everybody if you have to, right? Put everybody on mute. Put everybody um, on, you know, don't pay attention to the chat, right? Turn off the chat if you have to. Turn off voice chat. Whatever you need to do, don't get into a game in the headspace of, well, you know, I'm already in a bad mood, so I'm going to make everybody else get in a bad mood. Just focus on your play, focus on your mistakes, focus on what you're doing wrong, and then jump into another rank game, right? Ready to be fresh. And also take a break. Maybe you need a break. Maybe you haven't been playing good, right? I know there was days when I was playing League for many years where I had to step away from the computer and, you know, get a snack, get some fresh air, maybe do a little bit of exercise, like do whatever you have to do to get your head back into, okay, those are just bad games. I'm going to get my head back into, I'm going to focus on winning. All right. Number four, practice good wave management and control objectives such as dragons, towers, and inhibitors to gain advantage over the opponent. Right? So if you haven't ever seen good wave management, I highly recommend that you watch a pro player, maybe a streamer that you like and ask them right in the stream. If you can send them a question, Hey, how do I control the wave? Go look up YouTube videos on, hey, how can I, you know, um, practice wave management? I'm sure there's a lot of tips and guides out there to show you. So make sure that you're practicing good wave management and also control the objectives, right? Work with your team to get dragons, to get towers, to get inhibitors. That's what the game's about. Because until that nexus falls, you haven't lost the game. A lot of people think that, oh, well, I'm super behind. I'll never be able to come back. And that's a hard thing in solo queue, right? A lot of people... They want to just give up after like the first or second kill. They don't want to keep going. I don't know how many times or how many games I've played where people die and die and die. And all they want to do is FF and complain and surrender. And then they push through and they push through and they're like, report everybody and report this, report your mom, report your dad, report your cousin, you know, report, report, report. And then they get to the end of the game and we won. And then they're like, they don't say anything. <laughs> So don't give up. Don't let people get in your head, right? Okay, number three. Take advantage of map vision to avoid falling into any of the opponent's traps, right? Make sure you're warding. Buy wards constantly. What I like to do is when I go back to tower uh, to base, sorry. When I go back to base, I like to buy a ward, right? Always. Always keep a ward on you, a control ward. Get in the habit of warding constantly, especially in low elo. Because low elo, they, people don't ward. I mean, I don't know how many times I've played in low elo, and I can literally just walk through the bush, walk through lane, and just gank the opponent, and now I have a kill, 
right? So don't fall into people's traps, right? Don't go walk in the bushes blindly, you know? Don't go walk in the darkness blindly. Don't go walk in the fog of war. I mean, it's just common sense you gotta use, right? If you're in playing in mid lane and both of your side um, rivers aren't warded, don't push up as much, right? You can get ganked behind you. You can get ganked from the rivers. I mean, just play like you're always going to be ganked. Play like that. Even if the jungler hasn't been focusing you, maybe they're trying to do that to throw you off your game and then they're gonna start focusing you. These are things that you gotta learn to get a control of. So, number two. Communicate effectively with your team and work together to gank the annoying opponent and disrupt their play, right? So, <laughs> this is kind of a, uh, it's kind of like getting in someone's head, right? If you know someone's a really good player, what's the best way you can do to kind of get into their mind? Well, just focus all your energy on them. Let's say you're jungling, right? And you know Elaine's doing really well. Well, you can tell your team, hey, let's work together. Let's all gang up on this one player because he's doing really well. Let's focus him. Let's put all our energy into making him just as weak as possible, right? Don't let them get in the mode where they're, they think they're in God mode and they can never be ganked. Show them that they can be because I'm going to tell you, even the some of the best pro players, even in the world of League of Legends, they're going to make mistakes and they're going to mess up. I've had it myself. I've been playing League for since season two, since Zyra was released. And I can tell you, I've climbed all the way to Diamond and I've made plenty of mistakes. So trust me, you're going to make mistakes. That's how you learn. All right. And the last tip is number one, understand the strengths and weaknesses of your champion, as well as the champion you are facing. Use your strengths to exploit their weaknesses, right? It's a really good thing to study champions in the game, right? Obviously. But one thing I remember when I first started playing League and getting into the game, and you got to remember, this was back in like season two, season three. There wasn't as many champions as there are today. So maybe you're starting out in League and you are, you know, a first time player. One of the things that I did is I studied the game. I watched champion spotlights over and over and over again, right? It depends. Now, how much energy do you want to put into a video game, right? It really depends on you and how much you want to learn League of Legends. But for me, I studied the game. I try to get so good. I try to get to a point where I'm like, I know every single champion because I wanted to know their weaknesses. I wanted to know their strengths. I wanted to know if they're tanky, if they're squishy, if they do a lot of damage, if they don't do a lot of damage early, but they do a lot of damage later. Like you need to know these things in order to get good at the game. Because if you don't know what other champions do, you can't know, you know, leak, right? You got to know what all the champions do. And I know it takes time. A lot of people think they can jump in a league and they can learn the game just like that. I'm here to tell you, League of Legends takes years to get good at. Years. It, you don't just get good at it overnight. Trust me, I spent hours and hours and hours grinding solo queue. And I didn't play with a lot of friends either. I spent time in solo queue because I wanted to climb the rank. How do you climb the rank? Well, you play solo queue, right? That's how you learn. A lot of people think, oh, I'm going to watch guys. I'm going to watch pro players. Yeah, that's good play solo queue you will learn the game by playing solo queue and focus on your own play i didn't get the diamond because you know oh well i just kind of trolled around and messed around and played with friends and stuff no i got the diamond because well i learned the game i took the game seriously i took a love for the game i studied the game so it's really just up to you but you gotta guys gotta keep all these tips in mind all these seven tips is that some players may be more experienced and skilled than others so it may take time and practice to develop the necessary skills to counter them, right? You may be a new player, so it's going to take time for you to learn how to react to other people. But don't give people the time of day. It's not worth it. Because the problem is people get in this head space where they're like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm going to report you. And it's like, okay, <laughs> let people report you. Let them get mad. Do what they want to do. Don't let people win hope you guys enjoyed this video this is just seven tips on how you can deal and counter with annoying league of legend players if you guys like this video please like and subscribe to our channel if you have any comments or maybe you have tips that i didn't mention please write them in the comment section below um, and i will uh catch you guys on the next video all right thank you